Welcome to Pocket Ronnie. We are going to be adding and subtracting exponents. Um, when you are multiplying the same base, you need to add your exponents. When you are dividing and you have the same bases, you subtract your exponents. Okay. Here on problem 18b7, just as a reminder, the 5 is your base, the 3 and the 6 are your exponents. So here on this problem, we have the same base and we are multiplying. So since we have the same base and are multiplying, we add our exponents. And so this just becomes 5 to the 9th. Since it's such a high exponent, there's no need to multiply that out to an exact number. So 5 to the 9th is your answer. On 18C10, we have the same bases, the B is the base, and we are multiplying, so we add our exponents. So to write it out in a long way, this would be y plus 2y. We can combine y's, the coefficient on this y is a 1, so 1y one plus 2y is b to the 3y. That's a 3y. Make sure your exponents look small and are up higher than your base so it does not look like B, 3, Y. That implies B times 3 times Y. This is B to the 3, Y. So make sure your exponents look like exponents. That's no good. Now looking at 18B number 14, you have B to the 6 times C times C cubed times B to the 7. Anytime you have letters all together, that implies multiplication. The exponent on this C is an understood 1. You can write a 1 on it, if that makes you feel better. Then you can only combine same bases. Okay, They have to be the same base in order for you to add your exponent. If you want to rewrite B to the 6 and then B to the 7 next to each other, you can do that because everything is being multiplied. Multiplication is commutative, which means you can move it around the operation sign, and the answer is still the same when you move things around. So now that we have our bases together, combining the same base, if we have the same base and you're multiplying, you add your exponents, so that would give us b to the 13th. Adding your exponents for the c's would be c to the 4th. In the world of algebra, it is a good idea to get into the habit of writing everything in alphabetical order. So write your B's first and then your C's. C to the 4th, B to the 13th is not wrong. Multiplication is commutative, so it can be written this way. You generally will just see it in alphabetical order most times in algebra. Now going to 18C number 11. Our bases are the same, but now we are dividing. When your bases are the same and you're dividing, you now subtract your exponents. So subtracting 5 minus 1 becomes a to the 4th. Looking at 18c number 12, we are, now, we are multiplying these two first, then we are dividing. We have the same bases. So in the world of PEMDAS, doing everything in... Um, when you only have multiplication division left, you do it from left to right. Okay, so doing our multiplication first, we have the same base, so that means we add our exponents. That would be x to the seventh divided by x to the seventh. When you are dividing and you have the same bases, you now subtract your exponents. So x to the seventh, seven minus seven is x to the zero. As a reminder, anything to the zero power equals one. Not x to the 1, but just 1. x to the 0 equals 1. Anything to the 0 power. It doesn't matter if it's x to the 0, 7 to the 0, 10 to the 0, a million to the 0. Anything to the 0 power equals 1. Now moving on to 18E number 11. We have the same bases. We are dividing, so we subtract our exponents. So that is the same as saying d to the 3x minus 2x. The x's are the same, so we can combine the same like terms. We can combine like terms. So 3x minus 2x is 1x, or you can just write it d to the x. As the bottom note, we just said this, but just as a reminder, 
The base are the same when you're dividing. Subtract your exponents. 3 minus 3 is 0. 7 to the 0. Anything to the 0 power equals 1.